I was listening to Chain Smokers Push My Luck, and later on in the song, they do this really wild drop with big synth chords and a big lead and a big uh, vocal chop melody. And immediately I sat down to remake it. And when I remade it, I kind of went off on my own direction with it, but it was missing something. And I listened very closely to the uh, original Chainsmoker song and there was this thing going on with the chords where they had an extra top line melody to the chords to add all this character to them and make them really fun to listen to. And it was so abstract but so amazing that I was like, yo, I have to show my YouTube viewers and my boot campers how to do this thing because it's insane and it like really blew my mind when I was able to pull it off and actually make it sound pretty good. And right before we get into it, I have to remind you guys, if you watch this video from beginning to end without skipping anything, your production skills will increase by at least 20% because this trick is indeed an advanced level production trick but any level beginner intermediate expert producer could definitely pull this trick off if you just pay attention to this video the drop that we're gonna be working in uh, if you listen to push my luck by the train smokers it sounds very similar to this but it's not actually the same I made some different melodies just to make it my own and because I couldn't really make it exactly the same <laughs> So if we mute the vocal chops and we listen to just the chords, we're going to get this. And when I first listened to that, I was like, wow, this is it. I did it. But why? What's it missing? And then I added the vocal chops and they sounded great, but it was still missing something. So I thought it was just a basic, big, super saw chord drop, but it wasn't. They hit something in there that just sounded so gloriously beautiful. And I had to remake it and pass it on to you guys, because if you could do this to your songs, literally in any genre, like hide abstract components like this, it will add a lot of life and energy to your music so what i did is i found uh a really cool lead to do this with in nexus 2 it sounds like this and if i turn off the reverb it sounds a little bit drier but i added some character by adding a small room reverb and uh basically the way you make a small room reverb is if you go to the decay or time length of your reverb. Make it really small. I made it as small as it could go. So it's like zero seconds of reverb. And then I put the mix knob all the way up or the wet knob all the way up. So you could do this on any uh, reverb plugin. I just use the one built into Nexus because it was easiest to get. And then you get this very exotic sounding lead. It's pretty much a basic lead with a cool effect that makes it not basic. What I did to get a really cool effect here, and this is what they did in that original song, is they took this new lead and they just followed the chords, but with a different top line melody. So we get that little bit of character added, but watch this. We can add laziness to it and a little bit more uniqueness to it just by breaking up the pitch of it and making it bend and sound really cool. So watch this. Because it is in mono and this is not a polyphonic synth, which means if I hold down two notes at a time or more, it will only play one note at a time, but I have it also bending because it's in mono and I have a certain amount of time for the port speed. And you could do this on any synth. This is not just a Nexus trick, it's a very basic trick and you do it around that portamento knob that every synth has. So now if we listen to it, we can hear it bend upward. And then I made it like bend down at the end. And then I did the same thing for this one. Bend up to that one just to add the laziness. 
and then we get that crazy lazy lead and then we could go ahead and duplicate this for the second half and you know the way that we make melodies on this channel and a very good practice for when you're making melodies is never to just duplicate it and leave it as is for the length of four bars what you want to do with the melody in time is close it at the end and the way I close the melody is just to make it different than the first half of the melody uh, and make it sound like it's supposed to be the end of it. So here's what I'm going to do. So now we have this abstract lead following the chords. And if we couple that with the vocal chop uh, mixed in with these big chords and everything going on, you get this really intensely amazing melody to listen to. So watch this. But I had to show that to you guys. I thought it was very valuable. And you could really add this trick to any genre you want and make your music just pop by adding little abstract layers like that that enhance an element, especially like the chords. But if you want to learn more about chord writing, melody writing, sound design, and track arrangement, come join me in my EDM bootcamp. People are saying great things about it. And of course, stay tuned for next video.